Hey guys, this is Steve Huff from Steve Huff Photo and I'm out here in beautiful Phoenix, Arizona today. It must be like 75 degrees and it's freaking near the end of January. Amazing, amazing, amazing weather. Uh, we're in the park and I want to show you guys something. Uh, a couple things actually. First, check this out. I have the widest, fastest lens made for Micro Four Thirds right here, but I'm going to talk about that in a second. I want to show you guys a new bag from Wotan Craft, the new Wotan Craft Trooper. Um, beautiful canvas bag. It's not full leather, and the positives of that um, are it's not going to be heavy. Full leather bags tend to be heavier, so when you lug them around, some people can start to feel the effects of that weight on their shoulders or their back. This one is lightweight, it's canvas, but it still has some of that premium leather that Wotan Craft is known for. So you have a little leather latch system here, you have pocket, a zipper pocket in the back. Now it's not going to hold something like a MacBook Pro. It'll hold an iPad, it'll hold a tablet, it might hold a MacBook Air. I'm not sure, I don't have a MacBook Air so I couldn't try it. But you also have this little Velcro strap in the back that you can put over your luggage, which I always love because if I'm traveling and I'm in the airport with my roller bag, I hate having a roller bag and a shoulder bag. So this way you can just throw it right onto your luggage and it will sit there all nice and well behaved and you just have one thing to roll around. So that's a cool feature. So besides being light and very well made with leather accents, this is a bag that's mostly meant, in my opinion, they have, they have different sizes of this bag. You can see them at Wotan Craft's website I'll put a link in the description below if you want to check out the series. This is the Trooper. So this is more of a mirrorless bag, which I think is why they sent it to me because they know I shoot with mirrorless. I like Leica, I like Sony, I like Olympus. That's what I shoot with. So this bag would be perfect for your Sony a7R 3 your Olympus CM1 or Pen F, which I still have right here. A Leica M um, system would be perfect for this bag. You could fit something like a Leica SL in here, but not the native lenses, because those things are like bazookas and it's, they're just way too big. Um, but an M system uh, would be great if you had a few lenses. It's a little big for an M. But Wotan Craft always amazes me with their quality. The quality of this bag is premium as all Wotan Craft designs are. I always say, you do, in most cases, get what you pay for. And in the case of Wotan Craft, you always get what you pay for. These are the best quality bags that, that I know of, and I've, I've tried bags that were up to $800, $900, um, and I still prefer Wotan Craft, uh, not only for their quality and their design, but their price. Their prices aren't outrageous for what you get. This is actually really, really nice looking. You have that olive uh, canvas, and it has all the premium components of Wotan Craft. The zippers, all the hardware is premium. You can take the strap off, if you just want to carry it around with a handle, you can take out all the inserts as well and use it as a messenger bag. So you have the pocket in the back. You have also a, a, a stretchy pocket here. It's kind of like has, you just kind of pull it open. And inside, what do I have? I don't think I have anything in that one. It's a double pocket. So I have a Canon little 23 millimeter lens for the uh, M6, which is what I'm filming this on, the Canon M6. Uh, but the inside, you can see, it's pretty spacious and it's very lightweight. You're not, you're not going to have a hard time carrying this bag around. So if you're looking for a nice, really quality bag with some style to it, check out the Wotan Craft Trooper. It's, it's well worth a look, especially if you find the design attractive. Some will, some won't. It's all personal preference. Again, the link is in the description below. I also want to show you guys something I've had for a few months here, actually. It's the Venus uh, seven and a half millimeter F2 lens for Micro Four Third. Believe it or not, this is the fastest, widest lens for Micro Four Third, and it's very inexpensive. Um, I'll, I'll put the, a link uh, for info on this lens in the description as well, so you can check it out at Amazon and check out the current pricing and availability but it's a tiny, tiny ultra wide lens. Now it's seven and a half millimeters, but it's not a fisheye. It's actually a full on wide angle lens without much distortion at all. You might get some vignetting in the corners, um, but it's an F2 design as well. Now the only negatives are it's manual focus only. Now the equivalent of course is going to be 15 millimeters because Micro Four Thirds uh, has that Micro Four Thirds sensor, so you double your focal length. So being that this is a seven and a half millimeter, which it is, but it becomes the field of view, you get the field of view of a 15. 
but even so, that's an ultra-wide category lens. So having that with an f2 design is quite spectacular because I always liked the uh, Voigtlander 15 for M mount for Sony, but that's an f4.5 lens, so you're not going to be able to use it in low light without jacking up that ISO. So this is an f2 design, which is good for micro four thirds because they're not known to have the best high ISO performance anyway. So we're gonna walk around, I'm gonna snap a few shots with this guy so I can show you guys the quality of the lens, but it's actually, for the money, a pretty outstanding value. It comes with this metal lens hood that screws off like so. I just keep it on and it's small and light and uh, it works perfectly with any micro four third camera. I've had it on the EM1 Mark II, I've had it on the Pen F, and I've known people who've used it on the G9 from Panasonic, etc. So check out that link in the description. But here are some photos from this lens that I'm gonna take right now. So I haven't taken them yet, but by the time I get to this video, of course, I've already taken them. So take a look. All right, such a beautiful day. I'm gonna start by taking a picture of Debbie, and I actually missed focus. I, I actually focused on the GoPro, and I don't know how that happened, but uh, you could see how wide angle it is. We're walking around. Uh, I'm going to take a picture here of a tree. You know, you can get to the base of the tree, shoot up with a lens like this, and get some kind of dramatic, makes the tree look like extra long. Um, but the lens is fantastic to use. The manual focus is easy. Um, the, the EVF, even on the Pen F, uh, is not a problem. I did miss that first shot, but I think I actually focused on the GoPro. Here's a, a selfie I took of me and Debbie. Very easy to do. You just dial in your distance. I think I set it to one and a half feet and stuck my arm out about one and a half feet and there you go. But overall the lens is a joy to use and I wanted to uh, take it and see how the sharpness is. So we're gonna take a picture to see some detail here. So there's a bunch of birds up here. I'm gonna take a picture of the full house and then we'll zoom in on the birds to see how sharp it is. Now keep in mind, I'm at F2 right now, but I'm gonna go down to F4 um, so we can get some more sharpness out of the lens. So I set the lens to f4, fired the shot, and as you can see how wide this lens is, but let's zoom in a little bit, get closer and closer to these birds. Um, for a wide angle lens like this and using a Pen F, this is not a professional camera, the results are pretty nice as you can see. All the birds up there, I don't know if you can see with the GoPro, but they all sit up there on the house and hang out all day. You can also focus really close with this lens. Now this is like some dried up orange peel, but we can go to about right there. So for $4.99, this tiny little wide angle lens is pretty nice if you're a micro four third shooter. Gets great reviews from users. You can focus super close. And uh, as you get close, you can actually get some shallow depth of field. Overall, if I was a wide angle guy, this lens would be in my collection. So I know some of you are gonna say, well, what's that strap you have on the camera? Uh, I talked about these in my last video. They're from rockandrollstraps.com. This is the Riviera. They come in red, black, uh, multicolors with the stitching. So this is the black with the black stitch and the red background. Very soft leather, premium quality, handmade. Rockandrollstraps.com, the Riviera. That's where you get these. All right, I hope you enjoy this look at the Wotencraft Trooper and the Venus seven and a half millimeter lens for micro four third. If you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. There's some cool stuff coming uh, video wise for me. In February, there's gonna be some cool stuff uh, as well as a few really cool events this year that I'll be attending and documenting. Um, and I'm using this cool Canon M6 right now. It's not the best camera for stills. It's not wowing me with stills, but for stuff like this where I can just go out and about and I'm using a Leica tabletop tripod with it and a Rode um, lavalier mic, which you can see I have the big fuzzy ball on because I don't know if a wind gust is going to come. But the M6 for video or vlogging or this style of, of use or this kind of use, especially with this lens, the 11 to 22, gives you a nice wide angle, great quality for video because Canon's color with video I find to be spectacular. I prefer it to Sony, I prefer it to Olympus, and the autofocus speed is really good because it has that dual pixel AF that Canon is known for. So this is my on-the-go kind of review camera, and I also use a Sony, and I also have my GoPro with Karma Grip. A lot of people ask what I use for these videos. I have 
you know, Sony A9 I've used, I use the Canon M6, the GoPro I use a lot. So it varies, but uh, this is becoming a favorite of mine for video, though for photo, I'm not so hot on it. The low light performance is kind of eh, and uh, I, I get much better quality of photos from my other gear. So if you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. There'll be more to come. Thank you, I'll see you soon. Bye.